stretched. So contraption, <laughs> I was gonna, the word contraption and device came out at the same time. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Today we're going to look at Nikon's ES2 film digitizing adapter. That sounds far more technical than it is, but essentially it's a thing that turns these and these into digital pictures. So let's have a look at what's in the box. Originally Nikon created the ES1. Now this is a slide copying adapter. So it's great if you just have mounted slides, but not much good if you have strip film. The ES2 can do everything. So inside the box, you'll see that you have something similar to the ES1, if you're familiar with it a holder that looks like that um, and then you have two frames one for mounted slides and the other which is very well packaged in here for strip film and those as I'll show you actually hold film and then that slides into here and this goes on the front of a macro lens it has to be a 60 millimeter macro or if you've got a dx camera then it has to be a 40 millimeter macro unfortunately no other lens will focus close enough so now we're going to have a look at it on the lens setup here I have the 60mm f2.8G, which is the newest version of the macro lens, on a D850. Now the D850 has a very special capability of converting negatives to positives, but you don't need a D850 to use this setup. If you're using the 60mm lens, you have the choice for the G version, you'll need this adapter, which comes in the box. If you have the older version with the aperture ring, you'll need this adapter, which also comes with the ES2. So we're gonna put it on and show you how it works. So this is what it looks like with the ES2 on. Now I have actually extended this out fully. It closes like that and then you pull it out so that the lens can focus because it obviously is a very small working distance. And I very carefully put my film strip into the holder to make sure that it all lines up where I want it to be. So now I'm going to pop it in the front here and you can kind of tell because it sort of locks into place when you've got the frame in the right place. Essentially, you're just taking a picture of a negative. You will need light because obviously this is an opaque area here, but it will need light to go through the slide or the piece of film and onto the lens and onto the sensor. Uh, I tend to use natural light, but you can also get small LED panels or a, a good lamp that will actually give you enough illumination for that. So on the D850, we're gonna see how it looks in live view. I recommend using a tabletop tripod or a tripod or stand to give you plenty of stability and a remote release. But just to very quickly show you how this looks, I've got the light pointing towards the piece of film through the lens so that the back is illuminated. I've got the camera set to JPEG, otherwise the um, slide copying won't work uh, for the D850 specifically. And I'm using manual focus. So I'm adjusting my focus and you can also obviously use your zoom in and zoom out functions there. So if you press the I button and then you go right down to the bottom of the I menu, you've got the negative digitizer. You've got the choice to choose color negative or of course black and white. My piece of film is color. So as you can see here, it's now converted the picture into color. I can adjust my settings however I wish, um, increase the ISO, increase the aperture, any of those things, change focus, etc. And then all I'm gonna do is take a picture of it. And there we go. So that's a very quick demonstration of how to use the strip film holder. And you quite literally open it up, put your new strip in, feed it through and take a shot each time. Um, with the slide, the mounted slide holder, your slides drop in just like that and you can do two at a time. So it's a pretty straightforward system. If you don't have a D850, there is a trick to convert your negatives. Obviously slides are color, 
So that's not an issue. You can use any camera you like for that. With negatives, it's a little bit more complicated. You will need to use a post-processing software like Photoshop or even the free Nikon software, and that will allow you to convert your positives to negatives by reversing the tone curves. If you have a question on that, drop it in the comments below and I'll give you the full instructions. In the meantime, this is a very useful tool if you are shooting film again or if you're reviving your film collection, as I have done. I've done probably about 150 of my grandfather's slides and um, probably about 10 or 12 rolls of my own film now. It's uh, not as painful as it sounds and it's certainly easier and cheaper than buying a scanner. So if you have any questions, let us know.